In these problems we have decimals that we need to convert into fractions and then put in their simplest form and the numbers here are a little tricky so they'll require some reducing. But let's give this a shot. To turn a decimal into a fraction we figure out the place of the last number. So after the decimal point it goes tenths then hundredths so the last place here is hundredths. That is going to be our denominator 100. And then we put the number part on top so 62. So we have 62 one hundredths. This 0.62 is the same as 62 one hundredths. But this can be reduced. I know that because both of these are even, so they can be divided by 2. So if I divide the top by 2, I'd get 31. If I divide the bottom by 2, I get 50. And now, I don't think they have anything else in common. 31 is a prime number, so I don't think there's anything else you can divide here. So 31 fiftieths is that fraction in simplest form. Let's try one more. This one. After the decimal point, we have tenths, hundredths, thousandths. So this is over a thousand, and the number is 16. So this is 16 one thousandths. Again, they're both even, so I could divide the top and the bottom by 2. 16 divided by 2 is 8. 1,000 divided by 2 is 500. Still both even, so I can divide them by 2 again. 8 divided by 2 is 4. 500 divided by 2 is 250. Huh. still both even, so I can divide both by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 250 divided by 2 is 125. Aha, and finally they're not still both even, and we only have a 2 on top, so this has got to be simplest form. So that is how to convert a decimal to a fraction and put it in simplest form.